Hello and welcome to Yota's Kitchen. Today I'm going to be making Galacto Burrico. My Galacto Burrico takes the rind of one orange, which equals almost to two tablespoons, but not quite. Half a cup of sugar, five eggs, three are whole, and two are yolks. And then one cup of semolina flour. This is all part of the filling for the Galacto Burrico. In this pot, I have a uh, simmering, one and a half cups of water, plus one and two thirds cups of sugar, three inches of orange rind, one cinnamon stick, and four cloves. I'm going to let that simmer probably until it becomes syrupy. So it's going to need a little more while because I just put it on like 10 minutes ago. And then here I have four sticks of butter melting of that, so a half a cup, is going to be going into my filling, my Galacto Burico filling. But I'm going to let this uh, melt a little bit, and uh, when that's melted, I'll separate the butter. In this pan, or in this little pot, I have excuse me, four and a half cups of milk. I'm going to let this come to a boil, which is almost there because, like I said, everything's on for about 10 minutes. And once it comes to a boil, I am going to be adding the sugar in there, and then I'm going to be adding the semolina and then the eggs, but um, not yet. And also the orange rind. The orange rind is going to go in with the sugar. But I'll be back when I'm on the next step. Thank you for watching Yota's Hello and welcome to Yota's Kitchen. I wanted to show you my milk, milk mixture. Um, as you know, I added the sugar in here. I said I was going to add it, and I did. Uh, the one thing I forgot to mention is that I also added one tablespoon of vanilla extract in this. So what I'm going to be doing next is I am going to be adding my farina in here, and then I'm going to be removing it from the heat. Um, I also added the half a cup of butter. So the half a cup of butter, the sugar, and the vanilla extract are all in here. So I'm going to slowly be adding the farina. Once I have this in here, I'm going to take it off the heat. Oops, that went in a little too fast. So I'll just stir a little faster. Um, once this is thickened up and I take it off the heat, uh, I'm just going to let it sit until it's uh, cool enough for me to add the eggs. And once I add the eggs, I'm also going to be adding the, um, the orange rind to this. So it's only going to be a few more minutes, and then um, I'll be back and I'll show you the next step. You see how nice this is thickening up already? So thank you for watching Yota's Kitchen, and I will be back shortly. Thank you. Hello and welcome back to Yota's Kitchen. I whisked the eggs until they were nice and frothy. I don't know if you can see them. And this mixture is still a little warm, but I am going to attempt it and hope for the best. But uh, if you were doing this, I would say let it cool a little more. Don't be impatient like me, uh, because then I might not succeed, and then I won't have anything to show you. And I'll be just talking to myself. <laughs> but anyway, I'm just going to whisk it a little bit just to get that heat out of there. And then I'm just going to... Put a little bit in there. Okay, so far so good. A little bit more. So far so good. Okay. Okay, so far again so good. It again. So adding it a little bit at a time allows it to kind of incorporate in there. So I think that I'm safe, but I, I don't want to risk it and put the whole thing in and then get um, egg drop um, galactoburico. So again, I'm just gonna. Oh, I'm good. I'm gonna just add the rest of it. 
then stir in really well. Okay, I have a little egg left, might as well use it. Okay, you see the texture? Okay, and now I'm going to whisk that in. Mmm, everything smells so good. If this was smell a vision or in this case smell a YouTube vision, <laughs> you would have been you would be like, "Wow, that's great. This is absolutely fantastic." So I'm going to let this cool a little more because it's too um, too warm uh, or too hot still to put in uh, my phyllo dough. But I have my oven preheating to 375 degrees. I am going to be um, letting the syrup cook a little more, not too much more, but a little more, and then uh, I'll be back and I will show you that next. Hello and welcome to Yota's Kitchen. So I put my phyllo dough in the pan, I overlapped it outside of the pan and it's ripping a little bit, that's okay, that can be fixed. I put about 20 pieces of phyllo dough underneath and then I started overlaying them outside of the pan. I'm going to put my uh, filling in the middle and I'm going to try to do this fast because it's really warm in my house. I have the oven on at uh, 375 and it's warm outside. So I'm going to do this quickly and uh, that way my phyllo dough does not get brittle and break on me before I'm even able to assemble this. So here's the filling. Okay, I'm going to just spread it out, try to get it into the corners and make it as even as I can. Okay, and then I'm just going to start putting the phyllo on top and brushing it. And of course, I don't remember where I left off and where I began, so it's going to be a haphazard type of look. But Philo is forgiving, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> it will look beautiful when it's done. So here's my other section. I'm going to leave that out and I am going to put some phyllo dough in between the layers. And I'm going to just continue layering it. I'll be back when I have the rest of this phyllo in there and it's all finished assembling. But again, I have to work fast only because it's warm in here and the phyllo doesn't like too much warmth because it starts to break apart. So I'll see you in a few. Welcome back to Yota's Kitchen. I just wanted to show you where I was with my Galacto Bureco. I'm getting ready to stick it in the oven. But before I do that, I need to um, sear above where the phyllo is, uh, where I'm going to cut it when I finish taking it out of uh, the oven. Now, if you remember, uh, if you recall what I had said when I was making my baklava is that you need to cut your pastry before you bake it because otherwise, if you don't, you take it out of the oven, it's going to be so flaky that it's going to be all over the place. So again, I'm just going to score it just, you know, to cut the top, find the center of my pan, which looks to be right there. And I'm just going to slowly 
but surely get there. So that's done. And then I'm going to turn it again, and I'm going to find the center where it seems to be the center. And I'm just going just, be just below the fil de dough. So not all the way through, but just enough to, to slice through the filo. Okay. So, so I'm going to cut it. This is so soothing. Baking is so soothing. I love to bake. I also like to eat. So that's why I give to my neighbors. Besides them being my testers, is if it was in the house, I would be eating it. And I don't want my stomach to be any bigger than what it is. <laughs> so... There you go. This is going to be a very small, this edge one, it's going to be a very small piece. But it's okay. Maybe that's what I'm going to eat and the rest I'll be giving away. But I'll be back when I take this out of the oven. I'm going to bake it for about 45 minutes. The magic number is 45 minutes because you hope that nothing burns after 45 minutes. So uh, if I start to smell it before the 45 minutes, I will be back and um, check it out. Always let your nose uh, follow this, uh, the smell because I know before I, the, um, the timer goes off if something's cooked because I smell it and I know when it's done. So I will be back shortly and I'll show you that end result. Thank you for watching Yota's Kitchen. Hello and welcome to Yota's Kitchen. Here is my Galacto Bureco. I took it out of the oven. It was baking for about 45 minutes and I added the syrup on it. So the syrup was cool. The Galacto Bureco was hot because I just took it out of the oven. So I'm going to let it sit a little bit and then I'm going to slice, slice it up uh, all the way through and I'll remove a um, piece and show show you what that looks like. I'll be back in a little bit. Thank you.